All right, we're back. Let's see what she's got to say. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. What the spirit, what the spirit said about the fused shadows. No. What the after the magic builders and tried to rule the sacred realm. This magic to chase across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven to another realm by the goddesses. Entirely, the antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not make them quiet. Eventually, both came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the light. Twilight, flitting in the half light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. Twily? Twilly? Twilly? I don't know. As it been passed down from our ancestors. Men. Do you now understand what I am? You I'm a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. I don't know why she yelled that. Men and this new man. It was a peaceful place until Zant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into Shadow Beasts. Ooh. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. And there's another tale told by my people. The goddesses were made us to the world of light, but they left one link <laughs> between the light and darkness. The year of twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. Well, Jake's not right there. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Okay, bye. Oh, one of the things that this uh, HD remake of the game fixed was that bug where the first time you see uh, any rupee that's not a green rupee, after each loaded loaded save, it uh, like, plays the animation and like, hey, look what you got. Like, this is the first time you've ever seen it. It doesn't do that anymore. Now it just happened to the first time you grabbed it, like way back when. Big boy.
Ow, you jerk. Way, but the other way. I think just go around. <laughs> the uh, little flying things are pea hats. Rock Rock 1991. Yes, they are endless, and I hate that. Uh, it's fun to like, you know, do the little the hook and slash the first couple times, but now it's like, oh my god, just let me go where I'm trying to go. He had to get out of there. Trying to make my way over to this piece of bridge over here. I know that it will uh, give us a warp point. Let's get a bug. Can I, can I snag it? Asshole. down here now. Son of a bitch. Alright. Cat? You can't be there. Sorry. Go on. What is this thing? Um, I 
it goes here? No. No. It goes... Here. Oh shit, did we never do that one? It definitely goes right there, though. Let's not work then. Damn it. What oh, the, this is the warp point right here, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So we're done there. Alright. Woo! We can now get back to the desert. I am not doing a 100% playthrough. No, I'm not, Rock Rock. We're just we're just doing the story. Um, I'm gonna collect any bugs or pieces of heart and stuff like that as we find them, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to to really go crazy, drive myself crazy doing that. We're trying to enjoy ourselves here. Guys, I get the bow. I think the bow is the correct stuff. There we go. Get up, you idiots. Yeah, um, this is one of my favorite Zelda games for sure. Um, I've never 100%ed it. Um, I'm totally with you there. I don't have the patience for that. Especially with how slow it starts, too. It's It's got one of the slower intros to, uh, for any Zelda game. It kind of takes forever to get into the action, but that point, you're like, alright, let's do the story. And you don't want to go hours and hours out of your way slogging all the all the bugs, all the pieces of heart, the pieces of heart where you had to get five of them, so they added more. No, too much. Alright, here's Wolfy Boy. I've already forgotten what voice I was doing for this guy. Trying to do a skill tour, like we meet again. At last, the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you, you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I have taught you, the Helm Splitter. Gonna be honest, dude, I haven't used it since you taught it to me. Then come at me! Okay, so I'm gonna do smack mac Oh, no, one of those. And then, oh, and then one of those. There we go. Okay, so Excellent. It appears you're certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my fifth hidden skill is... The mortal, oh, the mortal draw. Mm, this is the best one. The mortal draw. Let it be hewn into your mind. 
love this one. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and back slices. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I am about to teach you is most effective. You must sheathe your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the ZL target. You must wait until your foe is upon you, then before the enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with a... Now try it. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I fucked up. Put it away. Oh, whoop bam! That was a pointed strike. But do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill of the mortal draw has been passed on. sword away. Don't look at the dude. Kill him. There are still two hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to learn the next. May we meet again. for sale over in the Kakariko shop. Kinda wanna go get it. Buddy. Why? Why? <laughs> you wonder if the if it's true that the skeletons these don't link for uh, Ocarina of Time? Is that what you mean? Uh, that's what I had heard as well. That that skeleton. That's always the theory that I've I've held the most water or has held the most water for me as to who that skeleton is. Cat in the way again. Come on, Mel. Just go on. Is that that skeleton is um, Adult Link from Ocarina of Time? Yeah. He talks about like you know our bloodline. It's passed down from hero to hero. All this stuff it indicates that he is a Link of some sort. Um, and yeah, it makes the most sense to me. That it's our great link. He's awfully talky though. Pretty wordy. So that's the one thing. Other than that, yeah, I totally, totally buy that theory. I like it. Oh, I need to smash that with the war. Okay, we are gonna war. The crap out of here. I kind of want to swap out my bombs too for the uh, normal bombs instead of the water bombs because we don't need the water bombs right now. We can hold more normal bombs.
that chicken can swim. Okay, so now we are going to move. Not that button, sorry. Go back to the wrong button. Bullshit how many pieces of heart you need in this game. I hate it so much. I say that every time I pick a piece of heart, but it's true every time I pick a piece of heart. Every other Zelda game, four pieces of heart. This game, five. Can't explain that. Alright, let's go to the weird baby. Freaky store. Let's see what he's got for sale. You don't have it. I'm not narrating. Uh, he doesn't like the Castle Town shop with the high prices, so he's to try to take over. Okay. That's what this guy is. He's saying, hey, donate to us, please. Yeah! Welcome to Malabar. I've heard from reliable sorts of shops in Hyrule Castle Town are gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, Rana. Lord Malabar has proposed a townspeople relief plan as the answer to the lamentations of the common man. Yeah! Phase one, repair the broken bridge leading from the east castle town to the field corner. Roof traffic. Yeah. Phase two, buy that castle town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You heard me right, brother. There's a final problem, however, that the finances for the execution for this glorious plan are lacking. Please, brother, offer some financial support to aid the purchase of the castle town shop for the benefit of the people. Uh, right now, all my money's tied up in that stupid piece of heart. So we're gonna do that first. Because we're almost halfway there. I really, really wanted the eagle eye, but I don't really want to get that. Okay, we're going to exchange our bombs, though, and then head back to the desert. Kill a bunch of bog goblins. Go goblins, go go, go goblins. I don't know. Oh, he's got the little crawler bombs. Oh, want to get those? Hi! Okay, well, how much are they? Oh. Bomb links. One for six rupees, Jesus. Now yeah, we're just gonna get these. Okay. Let's get all 30. Stuff those fellas right in your bomb bag. Stuff those in your bomb bag. Okay, no, stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Come on back now, you hear? I don't remember when we get the eagle eye. It's okay. Okay, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, it has to be a wolf that doesn't do that at all. Okay. I can't just work in front of me. Okay, now we're going to try to do
was like, hey, what is now? That's a cool. That chest that was up there. I can't! No drop off. The Eagle Islands is see. Got both. right on me. There's a piece of heart in that meat. 
Was the key making the shiny noise? I didn't think that was a thing. Oh no! Somebody call Admiral Akbar. Because it's a trap. Kill him? I was promised death. Oh shit, biscuits. That hurts a lot. holds his shoulder like how rude he just limps off all right see ya oh no what are we gonna do Good enough. No! Hell yes. Okay, alright. We need some health. Why? Oh, shit. Why is it whenever I need hearts, I just get rupees? But every other time, it's like, hey, have some hearts. At least a little like, hey, you're almost dead noise is not super obnoxious in this game. I think it's linked to the past that had a really bad one. The most loud and annoying sound I've ever heard. I thought that I heard a po over here. Oh, not that. Stop it. That's not a light the torch puzzle, then I wait. I mean it's gotta be right. I mean look at it. You can't be Zelda. Alright. 
start donating some money to worthy causes soon. But this right here, this is my favorite dungeon in this game. Mostly because of the boss fight at the end. Uh, big part is also the item you get in this dungeon. Oh, it's so cool. It's such a situational use item too, but when you use it, it makes it feel awesome. And the boss fight for this dungeon is incredible. The scale of it, it's so epic. No, 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 no! Alright, alright. Fool me once. Let's get that, and then that. Okay. Ready to go. This is this is dumb. I've already fucked up again. Yeah. I thought that I'd climb over there, but no, I'm not I'm not being smart. Okay. I said it's my favorite, not that I'm good at it, okay? There it is. Okay. Alright. We gotta think with some portals here. Don't come back, heart. Fame that low. Whoa! Stop pushing buttons. Down, down, down. It's Oh shit! Oh good, okay. I didn't realize that was uh, collapsing on us. Cool. This is not how you do this. Can you grab it? Fuck oh, yes you can. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so we got a key. We got these. Lantern oil looks like. That's great. That's a freebie. Love it. Pop off. Mm, can't just dip that in there. I gotta scoop it with the bottle. I'm not gonna do that then. My bottles, fairies on me. Smash it. It's a key. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Those things, I don't think that they hurt you, if I remember correctly. They slow you down, though, so when you're crushing through sand, if you get a bunch of little scarabs on you, you go extra slow. Which, obviously, is not ideal. 
Endless too. It is. Hey, that's me. Oh, is that the solution to the puzzle? I didn't realize. The puzzle. All right, where's it? Bye. Part of the dungeon takes a lot of inspiration from uh, Ocarina of Times. Oh shit, that's scary. Ocarina of Times Forest Temple. Where there's four pokes. Shit. That steal the lantern light, and then you have to bring it back. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. Like the rest of it's very different. There's like four ghosts. You have to defeat all four to bring the light back to open the door and go forward. It's not original, which is fine, because where I can't talk and have a thing at the same time. Fuck, shit. Okay. Oh, these ones also count for the pose. No, that's... Okay, that is I saw the, uh... As soon as I jumped on the first platform, I saw the... The, um, claw shot target, so I realized, oh, maybe that's the only way to cross, but it's not, so that's cool. However, I might, like, just... Fucking... SOL here, I can't get back. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We're just fast. We can do it. Great.
I didn't pay attention to the scent of the ghosts. I was, I was going. Get out of the thing! Oh my lord! Okay. Oh yeah, okay. See, I just should have just done that. Because I can do this. And then, can I grab it as, as, a, as a bulk? Yes, I can. Stairs go down. Redead are my least favorite enemies. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> no dog, stop. <laughs> They're really fucking cool enemies though, but oh god. Here. 
remember seeing in there it is. Yeah, I remember seeing this room. That is now this available. Hi Jen! How's it going? This is the spoopy dungeon. Got here just in time. <laughs> Get him! Ow! Because it's gonna drop! Oh, god damn. Come here. I don't 
So that took eight shots, he's still not dead, not worth it. <laughs> right. It did do a lot of damage, but eight shots? I don't want to waste a ton of arrows. So I'd rather just take the paralyzed stab him. Oh, well there's more arrows, thank you! Okay, then there's a locked uh, door right there. This is only two positions. Yes, yes, because we came in. Where, we come in? Where the hell are we? Oh, we've been. Oh, we went upstairs, technically. So we came that way, went across here, got the compass, turned the thingy, went in there, got a key, and now we're over here. Okay, yeah, so that's all of them. Perfect. Alright, we are going to take a short break. I will be right back. <laughs> 